story of Gordy and the sea monster. Gordy was playing all day long. He was having so much fun driving his trucks around in the garden, playing with baby Melody, who wasn't really a baby anymore, and doing all sorts of fun things. He had finished his schoolwork early, and he had lots of time to play, and he enjoyed helping Mommy clean and talking to Daddy while he was doing other things and helping Daddy with his electronic stuff. Gordy had a good day. And at night, he was properly tired out and ready for bed. Gordy yawned and yawned and yawned. Oh, he was so tired. After bed, after Daddy put him to bed, he cuddled up in the sheets and fell asleep lickety-split fast. Now, Gordy suddenly woke up and he found himself surrounded by water. It was very scary. It was like somehow he had ended up right in the middle of the ocean. How did I get here, said Gordy. I'm sure I didn't walk in my sleep. Gordy looked down under the water and he could see a big, shadowy, moving thing. Oh, what could that be? How did he end up there? If he's still in his room and in bed? You'll find out. So, this big shadowy thing was very deep under the water under him, and he really, really, really didn't want to be there. And it was very dark outside, like there was a storm. Gordy started swimming, but he didn't know which way to swim, which way was land. He couldn't see. All he could see was water all around him, every direction. More shadowy things were under him. And Gordy prayed, Oh Lord, I need to know which direction to go. Please tell me because I can't see anything. I don't have... Um, a beginning point. I don't have a point I can look at. Suddenly, Gordy realized that right in front of him was a little tiny island and a very tall rock on it. Gordy swam to the island very quickly and got there and then climbed up to the top of these piles of rocks on this little tiny island to see where he was. Gordy looked in every direction, and from there he could see that land was this direction. This is called a reference point. Reference points don't move, and if you always make sure you can see that, then you know which direction you should be swimming. But Gordy was thinking, once I get back down into the water though, I won't be able to see the land. So how do I know which way I should be swimming? Because I get all dizzy wizzy when I'm in the water. I might be going the wrong way. Gordy thought very hard and he found some little sticks on the island and he thought, ah, I know what I'll do. I'll put these sticks, all of them, on top of this rock and let them hang off a little bit over the tip. Now, as long as I can see those sticks and I can point and I can swim in the direction the sticks are pointing, that means I'll be going towards land. But if I suddenly look at this rock, look back at it, and realize I don't see the sticks, that means I'm swimming the wrong way and I have to go the other way. Gordy was thinking very hard. And then... The shadowy monsters came under him again as he was swimming, and Gordy was praying, Oh Lord, don't let them get me. Suddenly, one jumped up in front of him. It had a long nose, and it was gray and slippery and slimy, and then, poof, shooting up over the waves, it jumped and then landed back in the water, and then there was tons of them jumping. Oh my goodness, said Gordy, it's just dolphins. 
Gosh, I thought they were sea monsters that were going to eat me. Ugh. Oh. Gordy knew dolphins were very playful and fun, and they loved people and gorillas. So Gordy was talking to the dolphins as they were jumping and hopping and skipping all around him. In fact, one kept swimming up behind him and tickling his feet while he was trying to swim. And he kept saying, don't do that. You're making me laugh while I'm swimming. I'm going to swallow water. Gordy kept going, and this dolphin wouldn't leave him alone. It swam up to next to him and was just going along. Gordy thought, maybe he's trying to get me to get a ride. Gordy grabbed gently the dolphin's fin, top fin, and then the dolphin started going fast, like zooming through the water. Whoa, said Gordy. They were flying through the waves, and the dolphin took him lickety-split straight to land and then dropped him off there. Gordy was sad to see the dolphin go because it had helped him to get to land so fast and it was like his friend. And then suddenly, Gordy was in his bed. Wow, said Gordy. I can't believe I dreamed all that. It was so real. I thought it was actually real, but I'm here in my bed and I've just woke up. Gordy thought this, this dream must have had some special meaning from God. And he was thinking very hard about it. He, couldn't, he didn't know what it really meant. So he thought, I might as well sleep. I'll ask God to tell me what this means. And then I'll tell Daddy in the morning. Maybe Daddy knows. In the morning when Gordy woke up, he asked Daddy what his dream meant and he told Daddy. Daddy said this is a very important dream because sometimes in life it's like we're in the middle of a sea and we don't know which way to go and we see all these troubles in the water, troubles in our life, problems, and we don't know what to do. That's what all those um, shadowy things underneath you were. You didn't know what to do. You thought you were going to be eaten by them, but it was only a helpful dolphin. But as soon as you prayed, but you didn't know that at the time. As soon as you prayed, God showed you a big rock. In the Bible, it calls Jesus the rock. And it says if we build our house on the rock, which is Jesus, we will never be shaken. No matter what storms come, no matter what troubles come, no matter what horrible things come in our, to our life, if we read the Bible, we pray, we believe in Jesus, we ask him for help, he is like a rock. Nothing can shake us. And so as long as you could see the rock, you could go in the right direction. God told you how to get to land. He gave you a special plan with those sticks. And then God even sent helpers, those dolphins. You thought they were scary monsters, but you were praying and believing. Look, some people see scary things. They just have a heart attack and die. Some, and many people have done that. Now, wouldn't that be terrible if you just saw all those scary things in the water and then you had a heart attack and died, and then you wouldn't have even known that it's only these nice little dolphins coming to help you. You wouldn't have ever known that. You chose not to be afraid and to just believe God would get you to land, and he did. So that's what this is about. Gordy's dad said, the time in this world is getting very close to the end when Jesus is going to come back. So things are more and more and more troublesome. Jesus talked about this in the Bible. He said there will be wars and rumors of wars. People will be fighting with each other, killing each other. And the days before I come back will be like the days of Noah. It said in the days of Noah, Men's hearts were doing evil day and night all the time. They never thought anything good except for Noah and his family. That was the only one God saved with, because of the great flood coming over the world. Gordy's dad said, There are many people that believe and love God, but more and more the world is getting more evil. It's our job to keep our eyes on Jesus, and no matter what troubles come, 
we pray and ask God what to do, and it's our job to be a light. We need to tell other people about Jesus and pray for other people and that God will save them and do our best here in this world. So that is a very good dream from God that you had. Gordy was happy about that, and he wanted to write it down in his dream journal. And that's exactly what he did. Gordy had had many very important dreams, and he thought, someday I need to look back through all these dreams and see what God has been saying to me all this time. And that was the end.